guys, how's it going? I'm gonna try making some uh, midweek videos, a little on the shorter side compared to the hour plus long ones I do on the weekend. And well, I guess this is gonna be one of them. So a little show and tell, it's a trailer I picked up about six months ago. And uh, you say to yourself, ah, it looks like a nice beefy heavy trailer. What's so special about it? I guess it's made by Triple L. Suspension looks a little funny, doesn't it? It's got these twin sets of leaf springs on it. Get you closer. Kind of see the suspension that's on it. it. Has this big heavy frame going around the outside perimeter. Looks a little weird. Big beefy fenders that are, I think they're quarter inch. Yeah, I think it's quarter inch thick. Give you an idea. Beefy tires. And it's called a 1014. 1014, 10,000 pounds, 14 foot length. And the 10 stands for the 10,000. It's not the total weight of it. It's what you can put in it. The total weight is 14,000 pounds. So it's a beefy built trailer. Got a winch on the front of it. Little storage boxes in the front. It's a 2009. Place some straps. And that's got some goodies in there also. I'll show you what those goodies are for in a second. And if you look. Big beefy rollers that run up and down a channel. Tie downs everywhere. All right, let me go pop you in a stand. And I'll show you what's so special about it. Okay, so the one thing that this trailer does so spectacular over any other trailer I've ever owned, it's got a bar you pull and a lever you hit. And the whole deck goes flat to the ground. The other part is what it's good for say if you have any kind of like big machinery you want to go get stuff that's doesn't roll easy or like a bridge port or lathe you want to pick it up you want to get it flat to the ground that's where this comes in handy plus it's got the winch too the tongue can come up a little bit but normally that goes flat to the ground and I believe it is two and a half inch rise is all there is, whatever the, the height of that frame is right there to the dovetail going to the end. Again, the uh, tongue of the trailer is, is down a little bit. If that comes up, it goes definitely right flat to the ground. How cool is that thing? That makes life a lot easier. I've used it for quite a few things already. I'm actually going to go use it for something right now to go get, especially like stuff that's dead, doesn't move and is uh, stuck to the ground. You don't have to worry about trying to get it up a set of ramps and sliding on the ramps and all that. You just hook the winch to it, back up to it, and uh, drag it right on. All right, I gotta go hook it up to my truck. Or you say we uh, get this outside and go try driving, I don't know, the forklift on it, and we'll lift that up. Why don't you show you the guts on the inside, right? So all it has is a button to raise it. It's a momentary, you flick. And uh, actually not this one. This is for the alarm. It has an alarm that beeps some commercial properties that you go on to. Everything has to have a beeper on it when it's in motion. So no middle lift. You flip the button, it'll beep. That's all. Let's go give an eyeball on the trailer itself. And it has a paw that it catches and locks it. It's not like it's uh, relying on the hydraulics for it to stay in the up position. One is, once it's all the way up, there's a catch. I don't know if I can get you in there. There's a catch right there that locks it. So you let off where the hydraulics fail. It's not like it's going to go fall down <laughs> while you're going down the road if it gets a hydraulic leak. So I don't see much of these. Uh, this is, a friend had this for the longest time. I kept bugging him to go buy it off of him. And I went and bought my new trailer my new power tilt trailer at the same time I was making an offer for this and <laughs> I was gonna go buy one or the other we ended up getting both of them uh, but I'm okay with that I think this thing is awesome and uh, I don't think it's gonna lose any of its value again I don't see them making them anymore the only ones I see now they have I think the axle articulates back and forth the axle kind of rotates and the frame and the body kind of stays the same it doesn't have that on rollers racking back and forth like this
Yeah, let's go lift that puppy up. Sorry about the wind. Yeah, try doing that with a set of ramps. <laughs> it sucks. Trust me, I know. I've tried it. <laughs> All right, guys. So I got to go unload this and go get something really cool to go pick up for future videos. But for this one, I think we'll go call it right here. I just want to do a little show and tell on the trailer because when well, people are going to go see it in future videos, they're going to be wondering, what is that? So now you know. All right, guys. Until then. See ya. Tow capacity of the truck, 7,000 pounds. Capacity of the trailer, 14,000 pounds. And I need a little bigger truck, just saying.